My name is Nathan Skelly, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Today, we're demonstrating a rotator cuff repair technique with a BioBrace scaffold augmentation. For this case presentation, we're repairing this left shoulder rotator cuff tear and viewing from the posterior portal. We're going to begin this procedure by placing our medial row anterior augmentation sutures. These white sutures are going to be retrieved through an accessory portal to maintain suture management. I'm now using an arthroscopic probe to measure the distance between the anterior medial fixation suture point and the posterior fixation suture point. I'm now placing these blue-white sutures through the posterior location, which we'll use to secure the biobrace medially. These sutures will also be retrieved through an accessory portal to maintain suture management. We're now going to perform the primary rotator cuff repair using the Cross FT anchors. These are excellent anchors for rotator cuff repair fixation because they come triple loaded with multiple sutures of multiple different colors to facilitate suture management and orientation. As you can see in this arthroscopic image, we are passing these repair sutures just lateral to where we place the medial augmentation sutures. I'm now placing the posterior anchor with another cross FT device. In a sequential fashion, we're gonna tie all of these sutures down. For this case presentation, I'm doing simple fixation points throughout the rotator cuff repair. A surgeon could use a horizontal mattress configuration or any primary repair a construct that they prefer. But for this tear, which is minimally retracted, we're using simple fixation points. I'm tying the last suture at this location. And I'm now using an arthroscopic probe to inspect the repair. I'm very satisfied with that primary rotator cuff repair. Now I'm inspecting the shoulder to make sure that we have excellent exposure for the biobrace placement. Okay, now that we have an excellent single row rotator cuff repair and our sutures are appropriately placed for the biobrace RC device, we're going to take the biobrace RC, which comes in multiple different sizes to accommodate different uh, cuff repair uh, configurations and options for fixation. What we're using here allows for four medial sutures, and that's what we have with the two white limbs and the two uh, white and blue limbs and the posterior aspect of the shoulder. So we're going to hold that over our cannula in this location. You can see here I'm holding the BioBrace RC device over the hydroseal cannula and in a sequential fashion we're going to grab the white sutures and then the blue white sutures going through the corresponding suture organizer hole within the BioBrace RC device. The BioBrace RC makes suture passage extremely convenient and efficient for the surgeon. To do this procedure, we're going to make sure that all of the sutures have been appropriately loaded in the corresponding hole. Then we'll look at the black arrow on the back of the handle, pull that back, up, and away. In that process, all of those sutures are conveniently passed through the BioBrace device, and we're quickly ready to deploy that through the hydroseal cannula and into the rotator cuff repair construct. We're going to grab each of the anterior white sutures through an accessory portal and secure it in this anterior location. Once we have secured the biobrace over the rotator cuff in this location, we can uncleat these sutures on the handle. These sutures are preloaded in the lateral aspect of the biobrace to make it even quicker for biobrace tissue augmentation of a rotator cuff repair. There's also a white suture that comes preloaded within the handle. That's just a retention suture that we will remove. We will secure the posterior location of the medial fixation point for the biobrace. And at this point, we can see those lateral sutures. You can see in this arthroscopic image that we're placing the Argogenesis anchor in the anterior location with that black-white suture. This gives us excellent, quick, and efficient fixation of the BioBrace device. We're now moving to the posterior location, where we'll tap and then place the anchor in this location to complete our BioBrace augmentation. The BioBrace RC makes this a very quick and efficient uh, process for surgeons that want tissue augmentation for their rotator cuff repairs. You can see in this arthroscopic image that we have appropriately covered the repair site. We are getting excellent time zero mechanical strength to this construct, as you can see with that tight uh, tension throughout the BioBrace RC with our medial and lateral fixation points. With the porosity of the BioBrace device, we're also going to get excellent biologic uh, facilitation for the healing uh, as well with this augmentation procedure. As I move the arm, you can see that this is an excellent uh, fixation construct that I'm very pleased with and will help this patient a heel from their rotator cuff injury. Thank you very much for your time and attention to this video.